What's up everybody, GT Mitchell, back with another update for you on the Porsche. I am very close to getting the engine out, but I wanted to go over kind of what I went through uh, in the steps leading up to getting the engine out uh, and where I'm at with the cleaning uh, on the car. So I am literally about four steps here away from completing this engine removal. So I have to disconnect the fuel lines from the driver's side. I could not figure that one out. Disconnect the power steering hoses. That one I can see, but it says if I drop the engine some, it will be easier to disconnect. And then secure the transmission and jack. Let's see, disconnect the water hoses leading to the thermostat. That's the last bit that I really have to do before basically securing and lowering. So uh, let's do a little walk around first and you can see where the cleaning status is uh, of it. I'll give it another uh, wash down underneath once I drop the engine out and then I'll of course scrub the engine as well. So uh, without further ado, you can see the uh, back here is quite clean uh, in the engine bay. I'll go over some of the things that I did in here already, but got that part pretty clean. See the passenger side wheel well. This is pretty clean. It could be more clean, but it's pretty clean. Now, I haven't touched the body in a while, so that's getting a little bit dirty. But the passenger side wheel here uh, looks pretty good. I am going to take the brakes off once I get the engine out as well. The radiators, as you can see, are very clean. All of this up here is clean. Oh, I did uh, clean around this CV joint uh, back here, and I did find the tear uh, where it is. Uh, you probably can't see, but there is a very small tear, probably about a quarter inch, um, that occurred in that CV joint. So I will be taking that out and taking a look at it. Uh, you can see this is all looking pretty good and here's the back driver's side so I got all the cross members off here the sway bar is off I got all the shifter linkages up on this right side of the transmission disconnected I just need to secure the transmission and take off this mount this big black piece here with those two bolts going through uh, the transmission and then a few of them to the body it's like four. There's a couple more that it showed in the book. Oh yeah, those arms that go up on the top. And then I'll probably take out this center drive line as well and drop this uh, front unit just to uh, drain the oil, take a look at it, clean it, and then get to that CV joint on the left here. So, uh, so on the engine side, as far as taking uh, it apart. Uh, we'll go back up top here. So there was really only one piece that is very annoying and I couldn't really find a lot of information about people having problems with it. So that made me feel great, but it was the back bolt on the uh, air conditioning unit. Uh, this is a little high right now for me to see uh, which bolt it was, but it's basically back behind the intake, this first intake runner um, that you're up against here. You have to stick an extension uh, down in between there and just kind of weave it to get to it. So that was about half an hour to get that one out. Everything else went really smoothly. Everything was torqued properly um, from when they had put it back together last time. So no real surprises. Everything's in great shape. Um, I'm excited to get the engine out and get the transmission off, take a look at what the flywheel looks like. Uh, I'll probably reuse the flywheel. Uh, if anyone has any suggestions on uh, what to do as far as cleaning, if I need to send it to a lathe to get resurfaced, uh, open to recommendations here. Uh, otherwise, it, it's probably okay. Um, I can always buy a new one, but it is a pretty expensive part. And then I'll take, obviously, the clutch throwout bearing, that whole assembly out, pressure plate. Um, 
And then once I save up some money, I'll get the uh, IMS and the tool to do that and the RMS. And uh, once we are there, we're done uh, for this go. Oh yeah, doing the brakes as well. So that I'll just uh, refinish, it shouldn't take too long. But I did drain the coolant and the oil. So this thing's ready to come out. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll update you once I get the uh, transmission apart. Thanks.